Okay, so let's see how quickly everything loads. We're gonna go right into everyday attire. I'm, oh my, no way. I do not even have my cast compressed and white literally loaded immediately. Um, hello? <laughs> what? That was so fast. Okay. Hi guys, I am Maddie or a cotton sock and today we're gonna be talking about probably one of the best mods to come out for the sims 3 it will literally change your game it will revolutionize it it will make it run nicely of course there are problems with the sims 3 that can just never be fixed but the mod we're going to discuss today quite literally will change your game for the better in terms of lag there will be little to no lag in the sims 3 after you get today's mod so for those unaware a year ago about i made a video called wow this new sims 3 patch changes everything it is one of my most viewed videos on this channel and in this video i talk about version 1.0 of what we're going to be talking about today today's video is all about the sims 3 smoothness patch version 2.0 the mod she's a little bit older now she's finally age two you know she went from one to two now she's a better person she's bigger she's stronger okay I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself but yeah so today's video is all about the Sims 3 smoothness patch 2 point oh i can't believe i'm saying that so in this video i have timestamps if you guys are interested uh, in watching the version 1.0 but we're gonna cover basically the same things in this video so what the original smoothness patch does for those that are unacquainted it basically speeds up the game's logic processing power called tps ticks per second and what this patch does is it takes advantage of those tps those ticks per second and it will speed up the processing power of the game now why ea themselves never did this i'm not quite sure but the lovely modder named lazy duchess has actually come out with a mod that will do this for us and what this will do is this will make things like create a style tool which you can see me kind of showing it here in this video the creative style tool if you saw look how fast that loaded and also watch me drag these color swatches it is almost immediate there is very little to no lag with creative style tool which to me was a really big problem of the base game sims 3 is the creative style tool whenever you would load into it it would essentially brick up your entire game let's be real here that's what was happening so in this video i just gave examples of all of that if you're interested in watching the original then you can i also show like what the game was like before for and what the game was like after but in this video we're just going to be talking about version 2.0 so what exactly has lazy duchess changed in this version 2.0 you may be asking well viewer that literally read my mind and asked the question i was about to answer lazy duchess changed cast clothes and they're now loaded in as you scroll rather than staggered which will really improve your create a sim performance create a style tool no longer gets locked up and unusable with loading patterns we can kind of see that in my video here of how fast these patterns were loading when i loaded into create a style tool like just watch when i clicked on that wall the patterns loaded almost instantly so that's kind of like a real world example i showed it in my 1.0 video create a style drag and drop has been optimized a bit which you can also see i was doing here when i grabbed that swatch and just moved down over and certain cast audio quirks such as music or voices sometimes not playing should be fixed so that is version 2.0 of the smoothness patch. Now, just putting this out there as a disclaimer, Lazy Duchess did a beta testing of this and people gave Lazy Duchess feedback and then they improved the smoothness patch 2.0 for public release. So this has been play tested in many simmers games and Lazy Duchess has also received feedback on it. So don't act like, you know, this is just something that is going to ruin your entire game. I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to install smoothness patch now i also should mention before we even download a lot of you are probably gonna be like maddie when i download the file it's saying that it has a virus don't worry this is just because the mod the smoothness patch at its core modifies the games.exe this means that sometimes antivirus software including
using Windows Defender might remove it or prevent it from running correctly. Don't worry though, it has nothing malicious in it. I've been using it since that video came out, since my Sims 3 Smoothness patch video came out. I also know Lazy Duchess, uh, we're on <laughs> talking terms. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know Lazy Duchess and you may have never heard of them in the Sims 3 community, but if you play The Sims 2, you damn well better know who Lazy Duchess is because they make mods for The Sims 2 that will improve the game so much and just quality of life sort of improvement. So don't worry if you install this file and it flags it as a virus, don't worry, it has no viruses in it. Okay, so this is Mod The Sims. I'm sure we are all aware of what Mod The Sims is, but here on Mod The Sims, all you have to do is go over to the download files button here and you are going to choose from one of the two options here. So if you are using Origin, we are going to use TS3 patch origin.zip. And if you're using the Steam version of the game or the retail version of the game, you are going to download TS3 patch 10.zip. I also should mention, if you are using the EA app, which is basically the brand new Origin, like EA is trying to implement this, at one point or another, your Origin will turn into the EA app. It's just gonna make a switch automatically. From what I understand right now, when I'm recording this video, and of course, Lazy Duchess will fix this in the future, but Sims 3 Smoothness Patch has some issues with the EA app. So if you are considering making the switch, uh, I wouldn't do it yet just because, you know, we have these mods that require origin. Um, but at a later date, Lazy Duchess will include this for the EA app. But from what I know right now, they were having a little bit of trouble getting it to work. Anyway, we are going to open this zip file and I have WinRAR. I think you can just open zip files natively in Windows though. But if you can't, then I would recommend using 7-zip or WinRAR is a great program as well. So Lazy Duchess writes for origin users, download the origin version and drop the TS3 patch.asi, the TS patch.txt, and the TS patch launcher.exe in your Sims 3 installation. If you don't know wherever you installed the Sims 3, what you can do is if you have the logo still on your desktop, I don't have my logo anymore, but I do know where I installed it. You can go to your Sims 3 logo. I know this says the Sims 2, but if you just right click on your Sims 3 logo on your desktop and hit open file location it will actually bring you right where we need to go so yeah don't do this on your sims 2 logo <laughs> do this on your sims 3 logo i just will show an example of how you can find wherever you install the sims 3 so i am in the folder that i need to be in it is the sims 3 game and bin folder and just like lazy duchess writes we are going to take ts3 patch ts3.asi and then the ts3 patch launcher.exe we're just going to drag and drop those right into our sims 3 bin folder and because i do have swing this patch 1.0 um, it's already reading the files in there, but we want the 2.0. We want the brand new version. So I'm just going to go ahead and replace the files and it will replace them. And last but not least, last thing that we need to do is we need to go to our Sims 3 mods and packages, which you can check if you have it. If you just go to your documents, Electronic Arts, The Sims 3. If you don't have a mods folder in your Electronic Arts, The Sims 3, I will leave a link to this in the description box below, but it is a mod The Sims post that contains the needed framework, the necessary framework in order to get a mods folder to work. And it says right click on the download link below and choose save link as. So we're just gonna right click on the little download photo, save link as. We can just extract it, like put it on our desktop or something like that. It's gonna say that it can't be downloaded securely. Uh, don't worry, this is on Mod The Sims. This was made by the official moderators of this website. It is save, I promise you. So if you click this up arrow and you hit keep, it will then let you download it. And there you go. Now you have a mods folder here. What you would do in that case, uh, at long last is I already have a mods folder in my Electronic Arts The Sims 3, but you would just drag and drop this mods folder just right in your Electronic Arts The Sims 3 directory. And if you have this mods folder, then you're just gonna put it into the packages. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just extract this. Now, if you use NROS Master Controller, which is a totally separate mod for The Sims 3, then you are going to also drag and drop the master controller dot package. So I'm just gonna go in here and just drag and drop this right into my packages folder. So there we go, perfect. If you don't use NROS mods, then just drag the smoothness patch dot package. You don't need the master controller package, but this will make it so it does not conflict with any NROS mods because smoothness patch was having some conflicts um, with NROS. So yeah, this will make it so it won't if you have that master controller package in there. Okay, so last but not least, um, now we actually have smoothness patch totally in our game. Also, if you're on Steam, 
your installation is going to be a little bit different so you can just read the documentation on here and see where you guys have to extract your files but we're going to go ahead and edit this a little bit so if you go back into your sims 3 game and bin folder what you can actually do is scroll down to the file we just dropped in here ts3patch.txt we're going to right click on it and open it up right with notepad and this is going to bring up this little screen that is on the mod the sim is posting this is going to bring it up in our own game so we're going to edit a couple of things in here you don't have to edit them i like to optimize my soonest patch to push it and like make the processing logic ticks the tps as high as it will go if you come in here and at the top here it gives you a little table of contents for like what each number means so 500 which is the default works okay for most computers if you just have like a middle of the line sort of computer i would probably recommend just going with 500 but i have a custom built gaming computer so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to crank up this 500 number and i'm gonna take it to a thousand which is going to squeeze out every last bit of performance from the smoothness patch it's really gonna push the limit and it's going to make it run run very smooth okay it is called the smoothness patch after all after that if you come down here and you can do the fps limit type the maximum amount of frames you wish to get so i leave this on disabled and let me actually show you guys why i leave my frame rate uncapped so this is from a lovely mutual of mine named acid lure and acid writes not sure if it's just my game but i found that limiting sims 3 to 30 fps will reduce build mode and create a style lag with 60 fps which mind you is what most games use 60 fps the game kept stuttering and moving create a style tool colors was a pain 30 fps the game was less stuttery and moving create a style tools was easy so if we go in here we can actually see here's the example that acid did with 60 fps and as you can see it's not it's not buttery smooth the camera's kind of jittering around a little bit uh, but then acid is also going to show us what this looks like with 30 fps and the game actually i think it's because it's probably an older game would be my assumption um but it ran a lot better when acid locked it to 30 fps and here's what the game looked like when acid locked it to 30 fps you can see it's so much smoother here the camera rotations are just buttery smooth buttery soft it really does work a lot better when you lock the game to 30 fps and once again it's probably because the game was made you know way back in 2009 where we didn't have readily accessible 144 hertz monitors which is what most like gaming computers and gaming laptops nowadays use is 144 hertz of course a lot of people still have 60 hertz 60 fps but anyway for whatever Every reason I don't think we ever got like a definitive answer of why it runs so much better on 30 FPS um, yeah so if you just wanted to come in here this is this is circling back to the Sims 3 smoothness patch if you wanted to lock your game to 30 we just type 30 here but you have to remember 30 FPS if it even dips below even a couple of FPS you are going to notice that lag when a game dips from 30 FPS to 29 FPS even losing one frame you notice it it is laggy so what i do is i keep this on zero um i just have it disabled whatever amount of frames my game wants to give me i will take them but yeah that's just food for thought that's just food for thought next up we have borderless this is windowed borderless mode this is what most games have nowadays for whatever reason the sims 3 only has two options you either play in windowed mode or full screen mode and i am a borderless girl um i love borderless so i am going to turn borderless to a one i love me some windowed borderless so we're gonna keep that on next up this is debug mode this will shoot you a message every single time you load up a smoothness patch and it will alert you that the mod is in fact on and working i leave this to zero i had it on for a little bit so if you want to turn that on just make sure the mod is up and working maybe you turn it on one the first time you launch the game and then once you know that it's working and fine you can turn it back to a zero but i'm gonna turn it actually i'm gonna turn it on one just to make sure when i do my initial launch of the, of the sims 3 that it's up and running next up we have delay leave this on zero unless the mod is failing to load in such cases increase to around a thousand each time and try again so you'll have to mess with this after you launch it for the first time so i'm going to skip that for now and then the last option this is actually a brand new option in this industry smoothest patch is advanced settings so this reads if set to one ticks per second intervals will be enforced more accurately might be more resource intensive enabled automatically if tps exceeds a thousand 
I don't know if I want to turn this on or not. I have no idea. Should I turn it on? I'm going to turn it on just to see what it does. I have a pretty good computer, so we'll see if that works out for me. But anyway, after I edit all those settings, I'm going to come up here to my notepad, go to file, save, and there we go. So we are now going to launch the game. Now, mind you, you have to go into your Sims 3 game and bin folder where we extracted those three files, or I think it's a different number of files if you have the Steam version, but nonetheless, we are now going to launch our game every single time we play The Sims 3 with ts3patchlauncher.exe. And I'm gonna say yes to the permissions. And it is now going to launch your Sims 3 launcher. It's gonna connect you to Origin, of course, first, because the game has to be connected, I guess. So if your Sims 3 launcher looks a little bit different than mine, don't worry. That is because I actually have Lazy Duchess's custom origin launcher. I would really recommend this. Uh, this is just a little plug for another Lazy Duchess mod. If you have this Sims launcher, this is really cool. Basically, what is the difference is that you can now search your downloads. So say I have like a piece of CC, um, I don't know, like a, like a chair. Okay, I don't know if I have any chairs in here. All right, well, anyway, you get the point. I can search now all of the CC I have in my Sims launcher. It is great. Just a little plug for Lazy Duchess's launcher okay you don't have to get it but i'd really recommend it it's also only for origin anyway i'm gonna launch my game now and as you can see here it says patching game this is because i have that little debug message on one just to make sure you know that i have the patch enabled in my game now of course again you want to make sure when you go back out that you are disabling that debug message otherwise it is going to throw you an annoying message every single time you launch so now that i know that i installed it correctly i am just going to go ahead and hit debug. I'm gonna hit save. I also think if you have this debug message on, um, I've experimented with this before. If you have this on for whatever reason, it won't let you start the game in windowed borderless. So like I turn that message to zero, right? So it won't throw me the message anymore. Watch what happens when I launch the Sims game again. For whatever reason, I think it might be a bug with smoothness patch or something. The startup message, the patching message, it causes a conflict where the game won't start in borderless. It is like the most bizarre thing I've ever seen. Oh, by the way, I should also mention if you want to just get quick access to the Sims 3 patch launcher.exe every single time, because you will have to use this to launch your game, you can just right click on it, hit send to, and then click desktop. And it is going to be this ugly little icon. I'm sorry. I think you can change icons actually in Windows. But anyway, you can just right click on it, rename it, and just call it like the Sims 3. And this will make it so that every single time you launch sims 3 via that you don't have to go through like that random folder every single time and you can just go right from your desktop if you want to use desktop icons but anyway let's get the game open now and there we go the game is actually in window borderless so for whatever reason that little debug message at the beginning does cause the game not to be able to go in window borderless i don't know why i really don't know why so if you notice here the menus are so much more fluid when you have spoon this patch there is no like stuttering or lag when you scroll through all of your save files um, it's just so much better of an experience. I swear, this this patch is simply the best. And the game also loads a lot quicker. You'll notice that in your own gameplay. I think I'm so accustomed to having a smoothness patch that I take for granted like how truly quick this mod makes your game load. So anyway, let's just get into some cast because I think that was like the main improvement with the smoothness patch 2.0 was the additions to create a sim and how quickly they load things. Okay, so we are now in the town of Riverview, which is the town that comes with the Sims 3 ambitions here. And I am now just going to go ahead and join a household or create a household, sorry. And we're gonna see how quickly the clothing. I also have bunches of CZ, bunches of mods. We're gonna see how quickly that all works together. Now this is compatible with Enros Master Integration, which I mentioned a little bit ago when I was talking about Master Controller. Um, okay, so let's see how quickly everything loads. We're gonna go right into everyday tire I, oh my no way i do not even have my cast compressed and white literally loaded immediately um hello <laughs> what that was so fast okay let's try pants and we'll see guys 
I don't, I have all my swatches for every icon and it is quite literally loading immediately. My Sims are criticism is loading immediately. What is that? I have never seen that before. I think like maybe when I used to play base game only when I was a kid, but this is with every single expansion minus Katy Perry Sweet Trades. Okay, don't, don't come for me. And lots of mods and CC. As you can see here, when I'm scrolling, it is actually loading them in as I'm scrolling. It's not as fluid as it normally is. I guess if I scroll through every single one of these, it would be more fluid. Like it wouldn't stutter like this and like lag like this, but it is loading them as I'm scrolling through every options. I am pleasantly surprised how truly quickly the Kratos Sim is loading. Like that is crazy to me. I've never, I've never seen this. I really am grateful for Lazy Duchess and all of the amazing things that they have done for the Sims 3 community. Like, wow. Just wow, that is truly shocking how something like this can be accomplished. I should also bring up if you are not interested in the fast loading cast for whatever reason and you don't want it to load in as you scroll, I have a member of my Discord that let me know that if you don't want that, you can just delete the Lazy Duchess smoothness patch in your package files, specifically this one right here, LD smooth patch dot package. If you delete that and then an addition, you'd also need to delete the master controller one that is only if you do not want the fast loading cast portion of the smoothness patch and you just want the stuff that came in 1.0 and all the other improvements of course this also includes all of the original stuff from the smoothness patch 1.0 the original release of the sims 3 smoothness patch so you will have all of that great stuff that comes in the original one that we showed in the initial video and now you'll have this stuff that includes the amazing creative sim stuff so and Anyways, guys, I hope you did all enjoy this little video on the Sims 3 Smoothness Patch. Lazy Duchess, who makes these amazing mods and also so many other mods for the Sims 2 and also stuff for the Sims 3 as well, like just random fixes for the game. They have a coffee, which you can just send them like a dollar for like a coffee, or I think it's $2, actually $2, $2 for a coffee, or you know, you can subscribe on their Patreon to support them. You don't have to, of course, this stuff is all free, but just to kind of support them and that sort of thing. They are losing hours of, of their life trying to code this stuff and um, you know just to show some gratitude or whatever. So anyway I hope you guys did all enjoy this video. I make lots of Sims 2 and Sims 3 videos and I also stream every single Saturday some sort of Sims related game at 7 p.m. EST. So I will see you guys all in the next one. Peace out guys.